comes the second gen. Yeah, I've seen that truck before. <laughs> I saw I saw the guy leave a comment under one of the videos the other day. We're not gonna be working with Cody's old first gen, but today we're gonna be working on my new first gen. Yeah, I'll give you the rundown on what we're trying to get done today. But be honest, bro. Have you ever seen a better looking first gen? No. Probably. I mean, mine's not done yet. Especially his Isn't that so mint though? Give it a yank, bro. Actually, you gotta, kick, you gotta kick the door. No, it's unlocked. You gotta give it a good old kick. Give it like the ninja kick, bro. No, no that thing's locked. No, it's not. Yes, it is. I'm telling you, it's not. It's not locked, dude. It wouldn't oh, yeah, be swinging out like that. You need me to help you? Dude, this thing doesn't move. Here, hold the camera, watch this. So should we keep this in the video? Otherwise, they're gonna know my secret to opening our door. <laughs> Every time, bro, effortless. You need to dust this This off. thing is basically, I like to keep my trucks extremely clean at all times. This is show quality right here. Today, what we're gonna be trying to do is work on my blue first gen, and after some thinking, I thought maybe I should give this one away, keep the Whistling Diesel first gen, and then I thought, you know what, screw that crap. I wanna make my first gen my first gen, keep my first gen. So I started this project to be my project. It's gonna end up being my project. Here's another fun fact. I didn't even think about this, but one of my buddies messaging me today talking about like a bug out vehicle, and he's like, dude, he's like, what's the best diesel to buy as a bug out vehicle? And I said, well, 12 out. He's like, something that'll run no matter what, whether there's like a huge blast that goes off, and you know how like in the movies, you see like a blast go off, and like all the cars, like computers, stop working and stuff like that, and then like they don't start or run or anything. Well, a first gen or a second gen 12 out is essentially one of the only vehicles that's a diesel that has no computer and will literally run and drive no matter what. So I'm gonna keep this thing and build it for myself as my personal vehicle but also if i needed to have a bug out vehicle this thing would be the one also i'm thinking about getting a sick cat for this and matching in blue what do you think a cat a cat dude like a pappy cat bro. do not i'm gonna do it this thing is screw it i'm gonna do it so what i did was i bought two windshields for my truck just in case one of them broke during shipping i think it's normal to order like two of everything i mean when i order seats for my truck i order two seats for the front. Anyway, so why wouldn't I order two windshields? And if they're both not broken, then I'll just sell you guys one of my windshields. You know how in the other video I was like, dude, I don't think they sent me my brackets and all this stuff. Funny thing is, apparently you gotta open the box to see what's inside. My brackets are right here. And also I got my silk plate and my locking bead to put around the windshield. First, do you think we should tell them when we start filming that like this took like three hours? Yeah. No, I really, like 20 minutes, honestly. I've been installing windshields like a safe flight professional my whole life and this one definitely took no more than 20 minutes half hour could have been three i don't know the important part is windshields in but y'all really got to stop driving by and honking at us because like i about flipped and i was on the hood of this thing and the last thing i want to do is put a dent in this pretty truck dude this is going to be a lot harder than it takes because i don't have an actual chair so like this could be really bad <laughs> That dead? It is dead, dead. So we're gonna give the old resto gen a wipe down, a wash the best that we can with our crappy water. Couldn't jump it, and so let me tell you a little bit. We couldn't jump the truck, we couldn't swap a new battery, that didn't work. We're getting a little click, 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 that's all we're getting, and that's as, that's as much as it's wanting to attempt to start. So I don't know if there's a fuse somewhere, if the stutters just seized up, because it did set for like three-ish, two, probably two months, solid two months, without really being ran, other than like one startup, and that was it. But other than that, it just sat, and well, now it doesn't want to start at all. So we're going to try to get this thing washed down, but you guys can see here with the fourth gen socks on it, um, just how shiny that blue paint is. It just had dust piled up on it from that barn. But other than that, we got the windshield in. It fit, but it was tough because we didn't have like the, the uh, tool that you're supposed to have to like run it around the windshield to make it a little bit easier to pop the bead in and everything. So we actually used was air gun lube, you know, your air gun, your air impact. And we like lubed up the whole strip all the way around the windshield. And then it just like popped right in. And then obviously it's not going anywhere. I mean, it's, it's really in there now. It's solid. That was the best remedy we could come up with to get that thing 
popped in there. But other than that, now we have no more cracked glass, which is a good good thing. And yeah, we're just gonna wipe it down, get it clean. May or may not work on the interior some. I know that my brother's gotta leave, but I might still try to tackle some of that interior for you guys for some good content. So I got the interior of the truck wiped down again, and here is the seats that we're gonna be putting in this bad boy. So I might for now, just kind of mess with putting the seats in the truck and making sure that I can mount them up, line them up where I want them and all that jazz before actually putting in the carpet. That way I kind of know where the seats are gonna be and just to make sure everything fits properly because then once you add carpet into the mix, you can't see the holes, you can't see through, there's no daylight you know, coming up through the floorboard. So I wanna make sure everything lines up first before doing that. But I mean, it mounts right up to the brackets. I ended up taking all the seats off of this mounting bracket, this plate and I'm actually going to just mount the seats to that. I think that's gonna be the best way to do it. Okay, update, and it has probably been a total of, I don't even know when I picked the camera up last, probably like three hours ago. It's actually like the end of the day now, sun's going down, and believe it or not, we started this video out here at like noon. It's probably like eight o'clock, but I wanna show you our progress with the interior. So of course we got the windshield in today, which I guess is not necessarily part of the interior, it's more of the interior and exterior. Um, but we got the windshield installed, we wiped the dash down completely, because of course you guys know the dash was completely covered in dust from sitting in the barn. And here are the seats in the truck. I basically um, took the old brackets that the other seats were sitting on and just put them in properly in the truck. They weren't installed properly. Looks like it was maybe a bench seat and somebody bought limited edition seats and tried to slap them in here, but they put the brackets on wrong when they mounted it. So it just looked like crap. But now we have seats that actually sit level in the truck and they sit proper so your knees are in your chest. And it's gonna look, it's gonna look really, really good. I, I think it's gonna look awesome. That's the progress of, believe it or not, this stuff just takes a freaking, it takes a long time. I mean, just putting the seats in and the windshield, <laughs> maybe it's because of inexperience but I'm just kind of learning as I go. Which is kind of the neat thing about it is a lot of this stuff I haven't done multiple times. A lot of this stuff I'm doing for the first time. Because over a period of time, you do the same thing a couple times. A couple times you're like, okay, this is getting kind of boring. It's the same old, same old. So I'm trying to do something different and that's what I'm trying to do. But the thing about doing something different is you've never done it before. So it just takes longer to learn. So that's where we are with the interior. Truck looks good though. Finally got it all cleaned up. I know a lot of you guys were giving me a bunch of crap because I had the truck so freaking dusty in the barn, but I couldn't really wash it until I had the windshield installed, you know, because otherwise I'm just spraying water all over the interior. Here's the other side. Not that it's really any different. We are going to take the bench back out though. So before anybody's like, oh my gosh, you put the bench in the truck, don't even have the carpet in, the bench is coming back out. I just wanted to test fit it, line up all the brackets, run the bolts, tighten everything down where it's supposed to be. So all I have to do when I run the carpet is basically undo the bottom four bolts holding the, the bench in place and then just pop it out, the carpet down, and then drop it right back in. That way, at least all the brackets that are movable and slide back and forth are in place where they're supposed to be. So it's not such a pain in the butt when we go to actually install them once the carpet's in, because of course that's gonna make it a little bit more difficult given that you're not gonna see the holes in the floor anymore with the carpet over top. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Do not forget, if you wanna to enter to win this truck plus $5,000 cash, every $1 is now 10 entries. But the 10X entry deal ends in a couple days and it will not come back. It ends this Saturday, August 22nd, and then it's gone. Every single order gets 10% of the cash that they spent back in their order. By the way, I don't know if I mentioned, but the link to enter website is in the description below. Or just go to lmpgear.com. Anyways guys, I'll catch you in tomorrow's video. Peace.